Hi, I'm Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. I've received quite a few uh, comments and emails regarding the Naycraft centrifugal casting machine because of the vlogs we put out. If you haven't seen the vlogs, it's just what happens in my sort of daily life, weekly life here um, in the jewellery shop and also on At The Bench and also in my personal life as well. And over the past few weeks, I've been doing a lot of lost wax casting. Now, there are two ways of casting. We can either use the vacuum machine here. I don't normally tend to like using the vacuum machine. I don't find it as exciting. I tend to use this central fuel casting machine. And one question that I was asked was that, why is the arm at 90 degrees? Why is it not straight at 90 degrees here? And also, why am I putting weights within the machine sometimes and not others. So this is a very quick film just to explain the sort of the overall workings of the machine. It's a portable machine because we can take this off. I've bolted it to the to the bench or you can cramp it to the bench or you can leave it as a permanent fixture. I like to use this area for melting down and so forth because it's away from the daylight over there and also annealing so I can get the correct temperature when I'm annealing. But when I'm not annealing, I put this in place. Anyway, so it's a central fugal casting machine. This is a horizontal one. You can also get vertical casting machines as well. And let me just quickly show you what goes on here. The idea is the flask that you've just burnt out with the, the void in it that you want to cast goes in this area here. And this is where we melt the metal. And this is the release arm here. Now what you need to do with this, because it's central fugal, the machine spins around at such a fast rate, it, it throws the metal out from the crucible into the flask that would be in this position down here. Now the reason why the arm is at 90 degrees before we start is that as soon as you release the mechanism, just at that right moment when the metal is hot enough and everything is sweet, as soon as this starts to spin, it throws this arm. And as a result of it throwing that arm, it throws the metal even faster than if it was just left in a straight line as we've got there. So we cock that to the one side at 90 degrees, we release obviously a lot faster because we haven't wound it up. We release it and as a result of it releases, the arm shoots out and as it shoots out, it throws the metal from the crucible into the flask. And that's the reason why the arm is at an angle when I always melt the metal down. Now, depending on what size flask you've got, a lot of the vertical machines you have to add the, uh, the metal into the crucible, you have to put the flask in, and then you have to balance it, and also some horizontal machines as well. You have to balance it with a counterweight, so when it does start to spin, it doesn't oscillate back and forth. Now with this machine, it is so, so simple. Depending on what size flasks you've got, if you use these small little two inch flasks like this, two inch by three inch, this is a small flask, you don't need a counterweight. As soon as you start using the medium sized flasks, perhaps three inch by three inch, three inch by four inch, something like that. Well then, Naycraft then provides you with a, it's about a two and a half, two and three quarter pound counterweight. This then will be slid into the first position on there. It's got medium written on the base. So if you're using this flask, because this flask is obviously heavier because there's more investment into it, and also you're going to be casting more metal, you need to counterbalance and this weight go this weight goes in the first position it will not come flying out even though it just simply slots on because the slots are facing inwards and as a result of the centrifugal going round this weight will not come off if you are using the large flasks perhaps three inch by four inch this is a large flask a lot, lot heavier, a lot more metal is going to be involved in this, you then would move the counterbalance 
further out into the large. She's got, again, it's got large stamped onto the base there. You would move it out into the large position, the furthest away, so it will counterbalance the extra weight that we've got on here. So basically what happens is that the machine is not out of balance because if it is out of balance, you will find this will be shaking and wobbling. It could even come off the wall. It could even come off the, off the mountains. So you've got to make sure you use the counterbalance weight if you are using a medium and a large flask. I love this. It's so exciting to cast. If you haven't seen this cast with this, check out some of the vlogs that we've done over the past couple of weeks. Um, it's just so, so exciting. My name is Andrew Berry for At The Bench. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, please, I'd love you to click the button down below. Click the little bell icon as well so you can be notified when we put films live on our YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you like this film, please share it with your friends. And give us a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next film. Bye-bye.